Hi everyone, my name is Iman. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this super fresh, glowy, natural makeup look. This is the perfect type of makeup to be doing in this like weird time right now because we're not really glamming as much, we're not really going out as much. So this ultimate glowy fresh face has been my go-to makeup. Today I'm gonna to be featuring some great products including the brand new The Big Clean Mascara from Kosas. I'm so excited to share this with you guys because this has become my absolute favorite mascara. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it and thank you to Kosas for sponsoring today's video. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new and add me on Instagram at Iman and on TikTok at Iman Makeup. All right guys, let's get into this look. I really want the skin in this look today to have this beautiful, dewy, fresh, glowy vibe to it. So I'm going to do a few steps to get that effect. The first thing I'm doing is I'm starting with a hydrating spray on my skin. The one that I'm using is from Neutrogena. This is the Radiant Healthy Skin Setting Spray. This is just gonna give our skin a lot of kind of hydration. So everything we put on from this point onwards is just gonna kind of melt into the skin. A product that I've been using and kind of loving to prep my lips is from Too Faced. It's the Lip Injection. This does give a little bit of plumping and it also also makes your lips <laughs> if you don't love the sensation of plumping you might not love this because it definitely tingles some people might say it burns I don't think it burns I love the feeling of that tingling when it starts to plump if you're new to this product test it out first before you go full on but now I'm just so used to it I could just put on layers and layers and it doesn't bother me at all but you definitely feel the tingle <laughs> okay so Letting that setting spray set in before I put primer on. I'm really excited to do this look because the last tutorial I did, if you guys didn't see it, I'm gonna link it for you, was like a full glam, glam, glam makeup. It was a Madison Beer inspired makeup look and I love how the makeup turned out, but at the same time, this makeup that I'm doing today is way more the type of makeup that I'm wearing recently because I just don't have a lot of opportunity to wear glam like I used to, you know? Before Corona, I was like going to events and I was going out a lot and now it's like I never really have a reason to glam other than for myself. So it's not the same. So this makeup today is definitely way more the vibe that I've been wearing on a regular basis. The primer that I'm using, again, is one of my favorites. You guys could see it's just like melting into the skin, especially since we did that hydrating spray to start. This is from Bobbi Brown. It is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love the texture of this. You guys could see it's like my skin looks so dewy right now. When you're really going for that super dewy, glowy effect to your skin, this is one of my favorite primers to use. And same thing, we're just gonna kind of press that into my skin, let it really, really sink in. I'm sure you guys could see my lips are looking way more swollen than they were a couple of minutes ago. That is the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is kind of what it does. It just really plumps up your lips and gives them that full look effect. This will go down, but if you don't want it to go down, you could always add more. For this kind of beautiful, dewy, glowy skin, you wanna use a foundation that has more of a hydrating, dewy texture to it. So any foundation that's gonna have the word hydrating in the name is probably gonna be a good bet. The one that I'm using is from Smashbox. This is the 15 hour hydrating foundation. I am quite tanned right now, you guys. So I'm using the shade 3.18. Hopefully this will be dark enough because I'm super, super tanned. I usually take about one to two pumps and then I love wetting my beauty blender. I know that some people use their beauty blender dry i don't understand it it definitely does not work the same if you don't wet it so i definitely recommend wetting your beauty blender so it can work the best it can so you guys now we're gonna see that this is just gonna go on so beautiful on the skin and it's gonna just look so natural so glowy so dewy i love this type of makeup you guys know 
I'm never going to get tired of this type of makeup. I hope you guys don't get either because I will always do it on my channel. I'll do a million different versions of this type of makeup. When you prep your skin properly, the way we did with the hydrating spray, with the primer, it makes your foundation application so much easier. You just don't have to work as hard to get like a really beautiful foundation look. It just kind of glides right on. Like as you guys can see, this is just melting into the skin and it just looks so natural and beautiful. I am using one of my all time favorite, favorite concealers ever. I am so glad I discovered this concealer because honestly, it's a game changer. It is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I am obsessed with this stuff. The shade that I'm using is shade number six. The best thing about this concealer is it almost feels like a skincare product rather than a makeup product because the texture is so nice and creamy and it just blends into the skin so beautifully as if it's like a cream, as if it's like a skincare cream, but it's not, it's obviously makeup. <laughs> and it's so hydrating. So you know a lot of times when you do under eye concealer, you can kind of get like creasing and it can just look so dry under there. This absolutely does not do that. If anything, it makes the under eye area look more hydrated than without it. So this is literally one of the best products I've discovered in the last year. And I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, look how gorgeous that concealer looks. I love it so much, you guys. It's so pretty. In that area, it just looks so hydrated and creamy and it just looks amazing on the skin. My God, the skin looks flawless. Okay, let's set everything with a little bit of powder. I've been absolutely loving the Hourglass powder. Now you guys know this is one of my favorite little tricks and tips, tricks and tips. <laughs> when I want the skin to be super dewy and glowy and fresh and the vibe that we're going for today, I am very careful with how much powder that I use. So I tend to go with a tiny, like a really small, this might actually even be too big, but let's just try it. I like to go with a, a very small blending brush. Shake off a lot of that product. And then be very specific, like just be very, very precise where I'm applying that powder rather than taking a big powder brush or a powder puff and just applying it everywhere. No, I'm just being very like purposeful with this powder because I don't really wanna take a lot of the highlight away from my skin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like this, my skin has like this very natural dewy highlight to it right now, which I absolutely love, but I know that I need to set this makeup a little bit so I like to kind of apply in the areas of the T-zone where you usually get oil, the inner part of the cheek, a little bit on my chin, but not too much, honestly. I like a little bit on the chin and then a little bit on the forehead. And then that's it for now. I'm gonna let this sit and then later at the end of the makeup, if I feel like I look a little bit too shiny, I can go add a little bit more powder later. Next, we wanna start adding color back into the face. So I'm using the newer, I guess you could say, a more newer product. This is the Kosas Bronzer and the shade that I'm using is Medium Golden Bronze. So for this, I really just kinda wanna frame the face. I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit more pointier so I can really just be very specific where I apply this. Again, like with makeup like this, you guys, less is more. Everything you're doing should really have a purpose. So I wanna bring color back to my face, where the sun would naturally hit me if I was you know, getting a suntan, bronzer along my forehead, my cheekbones, and I have completely stopped contouring, you guys. <laughs> I do not like the look of contouring anymore. I feel like I've lost a lot of weight, or I'll, I don't know if I've lost a lot of weight, but I've lost a bit of weight in the last while and my face is so much thinner than it was before so I feel like contouring makes it look even more thin and I just don't want it to look thin so I've just totally stopped contouring the only contouring I really do is like what I'm doing right now like around my jawline 
just to define my jaw. But when it comes to my cheeks, I just basically cut kind of apply bronzer as if it was just blush, which actually makes your face look fuller. And I'm using this bronzer all over just to give the skin a beautiful glow, a little bit on the nose, which looks really pretty, a little bit on the eyes. Dewy, glowy, I love it. The skin looks so, so pretty. We have like this beautiful, healthy glow to the skin. I love it. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques brush. This is the Square Foundation brush. It looks like that. But I'm actually gonna use this to just slightly contour my nose. I find this brush super easy to use because it kind of just makes a straight line and then you can just blend it out. So I take it all the way down, all the way up to my brows, and then just blends out really nicely and gives like a little gentle contour to your nose, nothing too crazy. Let's do a little color on the cheeks. I'm gonna do a few different colors because I kind of want to give the cheeks like a really bright, pop so the first shade that i'm going to use is from kosas it is the contra chroma color and right pressed high intensity blush am i saying that right i think the color is called hold on let me confirm yes the color is called contra chroma okay sorry <laughs> I always get confused when products have several names. So the shade is this kind of like peachy bronze, which I think is super, super pretty for what we're going for. So there's more of a matte and then shimmer. I'm gonna start, ooh, let's focus. There we go. I'm gonna start with the matte shade and I'm just applying this on my apples, blending up towards my ears. I love using this color as a base and then i want to go in with like a pinkier blush i'm gonna use a classic this is the nars orgasm i love it because it's like a pinky peach it's bright has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it and this i'm just gonna pop it on the apples mainly and blend back we are moving on to the eyes and now it is time for the star of this entire look, you guys. It is the brand new mascara from Kosas. It is the Big Clean Mascara. So I'm gonna do one eye to show you guys how amazing this mascara is. The first thing I wanna show you guys is it has this nice kind of rainbow shape to the brush. This is what is gonna give your lashes a nice curl to them. This formula is one of the best mascara formulas I've used. It is a clean product. So the ingredients are non-toxic, it's clean, it has good ingredients, it has minimal ingredients in it, only the ingredients necessary. So if you're looking for new clean beauty products to add to your collection, I definitely recommend this one. Like, look at that flash. Oh my God, I don't wanna yell. <laughs> that is incredible. And that's just like with one coat. So the other thing I love about this is that every time I've been wearing it, it's never smudged once. And I wear it on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. No smudging, no creasing, nothing. It stays on. It makes your ash lashes look big and fluffy and it's nice and black. So it gives them that beautiful pigment. I love that it kind of gives a natural curl to your lashes because of the brush. And I love that you can just get in there and coat every single lash from the base all the way to the tips. Wow, that looks amazing. No falsies needed. You guys know that I am the falsie queen, but with this, this is an amazing alternative <laughs> and it's clean. So you're getting the best of everything. So here's the before, here's the after. And I love that it doesn't clump the lashes. Like it still makes them look really separated and fluffy. Like it doesn't clump them all together. And the clean ingredients in the mascara actually help to protect and nourish your lashes. So it's available now, you guys. Be sure to check it out. All the info will be in the description box and you can have beautiful, gorgeous, fluffy lashes like this. <laughs> All right, let's get into the lips. So I'm gonna start by nuding out my lips just with whatever's on my beauty blender, just so I can have a clean canvas to start with. So I have a couple of 
pinky colors from NARS. These are the matte velvet lip pencils. I'm gonna start with this shade called Xbury. This is actually their satin lip pencil and it's this pretty, pretty pink shade. And I love these pencils because they glide right on and you can use them to shape your lip and line and also fill in. So they're just like super, super easy to use. So once I have that shape, then I'm gonna go in and fill with the pencil kind of focusing on the outer corners and blending inward. Once I have that shape, I'm gonna blot some of that color off because right now it's very pink and I don't want it to be super pink. And now I'm gonna go in with a lighter tone and the shade that I'm using is Rowdy. This is their matte pencil. And I'm gonna use this now to just kind of fill in, mainly in the center. So you guys can see that's like a lighter color than the pink. But once you blend the two together, it'll look super, super pretty. Now I do wanna add a gloss to this. So I'm going to add this kind of beautiful, shimmery, golden gloss. These are all from NARS, you guys. This one is called Relentless. I love it. Let's test it. I've never used this one before, so let's see how it looks. I love how like iridescent it makes the lip. You don't need a lot of this, just a little bit in the center gives a really, really pretty effect. To complete this look, I wanna add a little bit of highlighter just to give that last touch of glow to the skin. So I am using the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna just be pretty precise where I apply this as well. Kind of like how I was with the powder. A little pop in the inner corner. This is gonna make the eyes look so pretty, especially with that mascara, cause that mascara is just so black. Literally, this is all you need to do to make your eyes pop, you guys. A little bit of that mascara, a little bit of this highlighter, and you are set. Underneath the brows, just do on top of the cheekbone, create that little halo around the side of the face. We are done. This makeup turned out exactly how I hoped it would. It's just super fresh, super glowy. This is like the perfect type of makeup to be wearing right now. It kind of just puts you in a good mood. <laughs> so even if you're not really going out or doing much or have a lot of plans, even if you just kind of do this fresh face, you will feel amazing, I promise you. I love all the products that I use today. And of course, my favorite, the Kosas, the Big Clean Mascara. If you are a fan of clean beauty and you wanna get more clean beauty products into your makeup collection, this is a great one to start with. The link is in the description. It's available now. Make sure to check it out. And everything else I use in today's look will also be in the description box. Thank you so much, you guys. I had a lot of fun just doing this look and just like glamming, like natural glamming. It's been a minute. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, add me on Instagram at Iman and on TikTok at Iman Makeup. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. And if there's any requests that you guys wanna see, leave them for me in the comments. See you guys later.